Right, question 10. Write three in integers into the following boxes so that the three numbers have a mode of two and a mean of five. Okay, so this is your statistics chapter. So there's three measures of center. Okay, um, there's the mean, the mode, and what's called the median. Okay, so the mean is the average. Okay, so that one you probably know, add them all up and divide by the number of numbers. The mode is the value that occurs most often. Okay, so you're just looking at the values and seeing which one occurs most often. And median is the value in the middle. Okay, when the numbers are arranged in order. So you put the numbers into numerical order and median is the value bang on in the middle. OK, so there are your three measures of centre and, and they all describe data for me. So that's all it is. So, um, for example, uh, your junior cert, so the average age in your class. Most people are somewhere 15 or 16. OK, and um, maybe some 14. OK, so how would I get the mean? Well, I'd add up everybody's age in your class and we'd get the average mean and it would be a decimal. So I'm going to go 15.5. OK. And uh, the mode is the value that occurs most often. So again, I could ask everybody um, what is their ages? And um, find out that the mode is actually 15.75. OK, and then the median that occurs in the middle. But I'm just going to play with the top two for now. Why would the mode be a little bit higher? Well, when I when I see that and I see a mean that's lower, it means there's a couple of very young people in your class and it's pulling down your average. OK, so there's a couple of 14 year olds in the class. And when you add them into the mean, it pulls it down a bit. It makes it a little bit smaller. But mode is just, I suppose, the value that occurs most often. So there's a good few people that's 15 and three quarters in the class. OK, right. So why am I saying that here for this question? Well, if there's a mode of two, that means two is the number that occurs most often. OK, which means these are not three separate numbers, three different numbers. Otherwise, I would have no mode. So if these were, for example, I'm just going to play with numbers here. I'm going to rub out the, the, the descriptions just so we have room to play. So if these numbers were one, two and three, for example, then I have no mode. There's no value that occurs most often. OK, which means that at least two of these are the number two, okay? And I'm just putting X in saying that could be another number. Or of course, all three of them could be two. And all of them meet the criteria of a mode of two, okay? So the, the ones I've encircled the Xs, it doesn't matter what they are for mode because all of these is a mode of two, the value that occurs most often, okay? Now, however, they don't meet the criteria of a mean of five. OK, now a mean of five, sorry, a mean of five means this one's not an option because the average of that one, you can see it, it's two. It's two plus two plus two. And I have three different numbers. So I divide by three, three two and two, six over three, which is two. So of course, the average of two, two and two is two. OK, so that's not giving me my mean of five. So he's gone. He's not an option. So now I'm down to two of these numbers being two. OK, so I'm going to put them in like that. OK, now, how do I work out the third number? OK, well, I use what I have here. So in other words, I'm going to put in my X because I don't know what that third number is. But I do know that the mean is five. So whatever number this is, I'm going to add it to two and two. I'm then going to divide by three and I'm going to get five. OK, so let me write that up here. I have two plus two plus the number X 
over three is five, okay? And I'm gonna solve that, okay? Because that's gonna tell me what my third number is. So to solve it, I, I, I wanna get rid of this three on the bottom. So multiply both sides by three. So it cancels on that side. So now I have two and two, if that's okay, I'll add them to give me four plus X is equal to 15. Subtract the four from both sides, X is equal to 11. Okay, or know that if it was, or yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. You can also, what I, what I was gonna say there and I stopped was, you can also figure this out in your head rather than algebraically. So you don't have to be able to do all this algebra the way I do it. Um, it's the easier way of doing it, but you don't have to do it, okay? So there's a lot of people with logical minds who would figure out that a mean of three, before you divided it by the three numbers, it must have been 15. And they'll go two and two, and in their heads will figure out that the third number needs to be 11. And that is perfectly fine to do it that way. Okay, and then take that skill over here and let's try a harder one. This time we have a mode of four, okay? So four has to be the number that occurs at least twice. Now we have median of four. So the value in the middle when they're in numerical order is four, okay? So I can insert four in here, why? because I have five numbers, that is the box in the middle, but I need to make sure these numbers are now in numerical order, okay? So in other words, I can't put 11 down here. I need to have them going up in numbers. Okay, so that's my four. I need a mean of five, okay? And I need a range of 12, okay? So if I have a mean of five, whatever my number is on top, I'm going to divide it by five numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to get a mean of five. So this is the mean one I'm looking at here, okay? So all the numbers add up to 25, okay? So I now know that all add up to, so they need to be in numerical order, so they need to add up to 25. Okay, that's what I can tell from a mean of five. Okay, a median of four and a range of 12. Okay, so we didn't talk about range yet. Range is what we call measure of spread. Okay, measures of spread. So remember we had measures of center in the last one. There's two measures of spread on your course. There's range and that's what's called interquartile range. Okay. Range is max value minus min value. Okay. And interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. And um, at a later date, I'll do some questions on interquartile range to show you how to do this. But for this one, range is max value minus min value, okay? So the max value, whatever value I have here, when I take away this value, I must get 12. Okay, and after that, I think we're going playing with numbers. Okay, so they have to add up to 25. So what happens if I put four, four, four in there? and I put a two there, for example, well, let's not, yeah, two there. My range needs to be 12. So if he's two, he needs to be 14. Okay, so that 14 minus two gives me range. Okay, so I'm happy I've met the range. I'm happy that I've met the mode of four. I'm happy that I've met the median being four. Have I met a mean of five with my guess? So 14 and 4, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Well, they're not adding up to 25. Okay, um, I'm, three too, I, I'm three too much. Okay. But you know what? I'm, I'm not going to 
get, get actually delete them because I want to see if there's a pattern. Okay, so the four staying in the middle, three too much. Let me leave that four there. Let me change him to three. Let me change him to one. So he has to be a 13. So remember he was three too much. So I subtracted one from here. I subtracted one from here. I subtracted one from here. Okay, so let's go through our conditions. A mode of four, check, that's good. Median of four, the value in the middle. So he's fine. Range of 12, 13 minus one is 12. Okay, do they add up to 25? So 13 and four, 17. 89 to 21 to 2 to 3 to 24, 25. That will do the finest. Okay, so a, a little bit of trial and error there, but it's really understanding what these measures are, okay? Um, so yeah, not, not the easiest of questions or not the most straightforward of questions, that particular one.